Welcome again to Movement Focus Studio. I'm Phyllis and this is my student Shane and we're going to address the spine. So she's already in table position and I'm going to place the little stick, my magic wand we'll call it, on her back. And right here we're going to try to align her spine a little bit. So I want you to let your shoulders widen. Oh, now we have somebody that wants to show us how to do animal yoga. It's always fun, right, to share. So I'm gonna have her like try to open just a little bit, spread through her shoulders, and then squeeze like right in your, your lat muscle there gently. All right, good. Now, see if you can retract your chin just a little bit to bring this part of your neck just gently onto that stick. There we go. So, now that may feel awkward to you in your neck, right? But that's actually where we're coming into neutral. We all let our head drop too much. So that means that the muscles in the front are tighter and the back need to be strengthened. So right here, now we have quite a sway in her back here. But her rib cage, if she pulls this up just a teeny tiny bit, but now don't let your head drop. Did you feel how mm -hmm. your head dropped away? Yeah. So here we go with that teeter-totter battle, right? Of trying to align this and align that. So we want to gently bring it in here. Now, if I place my hand under you right here at your rib cage, right? So what we're doing is we're balancing these points together, finding neutral. And then that chin, it's actually kind of a letting the muscles relax back in here. I'll give her a gentle massage, right? <laughs> we all probably like neck massages. Now I wanna see if we can keep that stick nicely balanced right there and come into spine balance where you'll take your left leg and reach it back. And now, did you feel how that stick moved a little mm -hmm. bit on your spine? Yeah. So let that hip gently, just a quarter or 16th of an inch drop and release. Take this arm and see if you can bring it forward. And just nice and subtle and soft. There we go. Then slowly you're going to return it, keeping that stick right where it is. So did you feel more core engagement with that? Yes. Yeah. So you can do the other side too, just so we feel like we're balanced, right? And the knot in your shirt might be helping you a little bit there. I don't know. But you can feel how the position that we did with your neck, the middle of your back, and then your hip, not overlifting in it. And then coming all the way back. So this is something we want to think about. You're welcome to sit back into to a child's pose if you'd like to. We want to look at the spine and aligning that spine because so many of us get out of alignment with our spine. We have forward head, we have scapular winging that happens, and it's due to the imbalance and learning to balance the muscles to allow that spine to be straight. And this will affect different postures that you come into and out of. So I hope you'll join me for my biomechanics of Asana. I'm Phyllis with Movement Focus Studio. Thank you.